Advanced Gameport is the revolutionary new way to play Game Boy Advance titles in full screen on your TV through your GameCube. Simply plug the Game Port into the controller port of your GameCube console, snap in your Game Boy Advance cartridge, download it to your GameCube and start playing. Advanced Game Port works with hundreds of Game Boy Advance titles, including Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, Mario Advance, Zelda The Four Swords and many, many more. And that's not all. Using the built-in action replay code system, you can activate powerful cheat codes that will bust your GBA games wide open. Acquire infinite health, power and money. Become a master trainer in Pokemon. All with the help of action replay. It's easy to update your advanced game port with new codes for the latest games at www.codejunkies.com. Or why not use the cheat construction kit feature to create your very own cheat codes and share them with your friends. Advanced Game Port. Play Game Boy games your way. Advanced Game Port is available now from all good video game retailers or order online at codejunkies.com.
Good afternoon, hello, howdy, and welcome, dear viewers. This is your tubby turn and a tea time telly, your round sound lovable mound, and your gainly gaming guru, Big Boy Barry, a special guest reporter for Cube Magazine, don't you know? Now, folks, not a lot of people get to share a little bit of a tete a tete with a regular Bond girl, but hey, I am Big Boy Barry, so I'm lucky enough to be sat here at a table with the very lovely, the delectable, the always delicious Miss Rachel Grant. Say hello, hello Rachel. Hello, nice to be here. Are you enjoying Game Stars Live? Yes, it's I'm so impressed with it and um, I'm still going to look around a lot more. You're very impressed. I can see you're impressed to be speaking with me as well. Very much so. And who wouldn't be? Who wouldn't be? And I must say, it's, you know, it's a very nice table we're sat at. No, here. this is fantastic. And this is a retro table because we're actually yep. here for Joystick Junkers. This is the Joystick Junkers section. Yeah, it's fantastic. They've got all kind of old school games, old arcade games. Brilliant. Everyone loves it. Yeah. So, so tell me, Rachel, are you a big gamer? Absolutely, I've got three consoles. You have three consoles? Yes, I don't have an Xbox though. She doesn't have a, That's a hint! That's a hint for Microsoft PR! Send her an Xbox! She's been in James Bond, don't you know? <laughs> what consoles do you own? I've got a GameCube, a PS2, and I've got a Nintendo. And the, uh, the original Nintendo? No, it's an N64. An N64? Yeah. You see, now I'm testing her, and Rachel does know her games. And what's your favourite game? Um, it ha has to be, I think, Soul Calibur. I am like the best at that game. Oh, and ladies and gentlemen. And <laughs> she's throwing down the gauntlet. I, I say we run a cube special. Can you beat Rachel? I reckon I could beat Rachel. Put a put a joy pad in my hand. And Tekken as well. I'm Tekken? like I'm like Who, a who's your character in Tekken? Play all sorts of characters. I, in I bet she can throw a couple of combos together. I bet yeah, you're nodding. Cube cameraman's nodding there. So what are you doing here at the show? I'm just milling around really. I'm here for the joystick junkie stand to see my mates on the stand and going off and playing loads of games really. As you do. And are you impressed? Yes, I am. Have you ever been to a, did you ever go to the ECTF shows or the E3 yes, shows? Yes, yes, yes. Many moons ago when I was a student, I used to um, be at some of the stands. You know how, how it is. Many so moons ago. <laughs> many moons when you were a student. I can't I was imagine it was that many moons ago, ladies and gentlemen. I was a student, yeah, about 17, 18. Wow, well, well, that was two years ago then, in that case. Six months ago, thank you Six months ago, I do apologise. <laughs> so how does this compare to any other shows that you've been to? I think this is probably, um, I'm not just saying this, probably the best. It's very colourful, um, a lot of the stands are very themed, and it's open, it's not all kind of... Um, cubed off and everything, so very colourful and um, seems to be lots of freebies and I love freebies. But well, everybody <laughs> loves freebies and nobody blags like big boy blaggy, I gotta tell you. We all love freebies. Absolutely. In fact, just for doing this interview today, I get to go home with this no, table. I'm sorry, but they gave me this already. I'll so, play you at Soul um, Calibur before, Rachel. Well, I'm sorry, I've won that already. <laughs> Let's wrestle in mud for it. Okay, maybe, maybe later. So, um, okay. So, so, so you're a big gamer and you're liking the show. Yes, now, this show is it's the first time we've ever done Game Stars Live, and they're charging, I think, £12 or £13 for admission. Right. Do you okay. think that's a fair price for Joe Public to buy? Um, it is brilliant. It's a really good price because you can go down to the arcade, spend 20, 30 quid on what? On any game. Yeah. after game, and um, here you, you know, you've got freebies, you've got loads of games, you've got. Every console's here, it's brilliant, so many games, games that haven't even been played yet. Now I know, um, I know you're a very busy lady. Yes, okay. I know you're very, and you've got a lot of very busy public out there, you've got a lot of very busy friends, a lot of very busy parties, and a lot of very busy freebies to work. But have you seen anything today that's really impressed you? She's just got here. <laughs> She's just got here, ladies and gentlemen. And you see, we've accosted her into a corner, and we started an interview. But now you did say you, you haven't got a, an Xbox. Yes. You did have an oh, Xbox. Yes. What games would you be playing on your Xbox? I wouldn't. You wouldn't. You just won it for the kudos. Um, the Xbox is bigger than my video player, and um, I've got no room for it on my shelf. I know Sorry. what it is, Rachel. All the other supermodels have got an Xbox. You want an Xbox too? It does not have the X Factor for me. I'm not too impressed. I hope it's, that's, um, that's, that's Sorry, I'm not supposed to say things like this. I'm well, not weird because this is Q Magazine. Yeah. What's your favourite really? Nintendo game? Let's talk um, about that. Um, Probably Legend of Zelda, actually. On which one? The, the N64 one? Or um, the... I played it on the... Um, getting really confused now. I think there's a lot in Nintendo. There's a lot it was the Nintendo first one I played. Um, the, um, Did it have a flute in it? It had the... Um, the what 
what's it called? Did you ride a horse? Ocarina of Time. The Ocarina of Time! Yeah. There you go. We got there in the end. That was a while ago. I oh, didn't finish it. Well, you know, you really should go out and get yourself a game to play Wind Waker. Because it rocks. Doesn't it rock you, cameraman? There you go. Lots of good Nintendo. Have you played Donkey Kong yet? Um, the new one with the little bongos on it? No, I haven't. No, I have the original one like that. That's pretty, that's pretty. Now, don't, let, let me ask you a question then. If you were to pick up a console magazine next time you went to W8 Smiths or News yes. Editors, which console magazine would you pick up? Um, there's one called um, Cube that I really, Cube. really like. It's a good mag. I also in fact, it's the best selling unofficial Nintendo magazine. Really? They've actually got a very good website too. Um, they, they, they have indeed. And I'm sure if you're watching this video now, you'll see the website will be flashed up on screen right about now. Rachel Grant looks at it every day. No, I look at it every other day. Every other day. Okay, well, you know, I think it's it's getting kind of late. You haven't played anything. You haven't played Donkey Kong yet. You haven't taken a look at Paper Mario 2 yet. We've got a party to go to in a couple of hours, and I owe you a drink. So I think it's time to wave goodbye. Goodbye. And say goodbye to Cube Readers. Bye, Cube Readers. And um, I think it's time for you to uh, shut the camera off. Hi, I'm Yanis Mala, I'm the executive producer on Prince of Persia franchise and I'm going to talk to you about Prince of Persia 2 for QB magazine. Um, actually, the only thing that people will have to know is that the prince in Sands of Time, and you all know that, hopefully, he opened the hourglass, unleashing the Sands of Time. By doing that, he corrupted the timeline. And by doing that, he called upon himself what we call the Dahaka, which is based on true Persian mythology. The Dahaka being the incarnation of fate of everyone's fate, especially people who uh, screw up the timeline. By doing that, the only goal of the Daakas is to correct the timeline. And because the prince is not supposed to live in this timeline, the Daaka will have no rest until he kills the prince. So that's pretty much the main plot. Of course, story-wise, the prince is uh, giving it a try, which is trying to go where the sense of time are kept and trying to uh, rewind enough time in the past before even the creation of the sense of time. No sense of time, no the hacker. No the hacker, no the hacker. And talking about the fight system, as well as talking about everything else we have enhanced, the master word is we have given depth to the gameplay experience. For example, with the fight system, where, where in sense of time, the player was, let's say, enjoying cool moves and cool fighting animations, very fluid and smooth, uh, but he was only triggering those, those moves. He was, you know, pressing buttons and, and then enjoying the prince doing all this crazy stuff, but he, it was more a voyeurism trip or spectator trip rather than a real actor trip. 
So what we've done is that giving depth to the fight system, we've been really giving the control to the player of what he wanted his prince to do. And we're going to talk about combos, although I don't really like the word, but it's, this is pretty much what it's all about. You remember this uh, signature move of the prince where he walks on, on the enemies? Well, in Pop 2, at this right moment where he stands on the enemy's shoulders, we offer the player a whole tree of different options as to how to finish the, the, the fight. Should it be decapitation in the air? Should it be using the walls? Should it be landing an enemy's back and using the enemy's ice as human shield and then entering the strangulation mode with, which gives gameplay into the gameplay? All those little things uh, allow the player to play the fight systems the way he wants. The player will also be able to steal weapons from his enemies, to throw weapons, a whole new you know, branch of new moves that will give real depth to the fight system. The GameCube version, in, in my personal opinion, is the little gem, you know, somewhere. And the GameCube version will benefit from uh, high-speed refresh, um, um, high refresh uh, rendering, uh, as well as all branch new um, visual effects such as physics and water that will be much more optimized. We're going to have also some kind of bump mapping. We're going to also have some dynamic lighting and dynamic shadowing on, on, uh, on GameCube. And this, this, little, this little machine in, in pop games are really up to uh, what we wanted the machine to do. It's, it's going to be a very beautiful version.